This is Harry Kane, the greatest English talent of all time. But he has never won a trophy in his career. But today that is going to change as I'm going to simulate the entire career of Harry Kane to see if he can get to 99 overall and finally win a trophy. And not only that, I do have a tic-tac-toe of challenges that Harry Kane needs to complete. And in the center and corners, we do have the hardest challenges in this board. Scoring 500 goals as Harry Kane currently has around 400. Winning three Ballon d'Ors will make him the English player with the most Ballon d'Ors above Kevin Keegan, who has two. Winning the World Cup and 60 CLs are also pretty difficult. While some of the easier challenges include playing for three Prem clubs, winning three Golden Boots, getting 50 assists, and of course, winning a trophy. But considering Harry Kane, that might be a hard challenge and going back to Tottenham Hotspur the team where Harry Kane started it seems like he won't be getting any game time which is kind of good because I don't think he'll win any trophies right now with Tottenham so I think with having a 16 year old 58 overall Harry Kane the best option is to go ahead and send them out on loan because even in real life Harry Kane also went out on loan going to clubs like Leighton Orient Norwich City and even Premier League champions Leicester City but I wonder what kind of clubs will come for this trophyless bum and the first offer that comes in actually I think is the perfect offer for Harry Kane and that is Shrewsbury Town and there are two reasons why I believe this is the perfect offer for Harry Kane one he gets to remain in the English divisions where I believe he should be growing throughout his entire career and second of all Shrewsbury Town did finish in 19th place last year in real life so having Harry Kane in their team may do them well I cannot believe a player like Harry Kane is joining Shrewsbury Town but let's hope he can grow here at Shrewsbury and even though this team looks absolutely horrendous I guarantee you these are not the worst players he's ever played with considering he played for Tottenham and never won a trophy but he still is the lowest rated at the club so he still has a lot of work to do but for these next two seasons if I'm honest I just want Harry Kane to grow in overall and maybe even get a couple goals for the club and in order to do that I'm gonna go ahead and give him the complete forward because taking a look at not only his shooting stats but all of his stats he should not be looking this terrible if he wants to become one of the greatest English players of all time and I wonder what the man with the biggest head in English football can achieve in his first ever season season this first season for Harry Kane I have to say is extremely underwhelming 20 appearances and only one goal at least he has more goals than trophies in real life one positive however is that Harry Kane went up a plus four now a 62 so hopefully next season and his last season at Shrewsbury he can get a couple more goals and with Shrewsbury finishing May table I think the manager is dumb to not start Harry Kane up top let's hope he does it next year and in the brand new season it seems like Harry Kane is going to start Udo is joining Wrexham because I think his contract expired so hopefully Harry Kane, Kane can get some more goals and with his finishing stats looking even better, I'm going to go ahead and give him poetry to maximize his finishing this year. But let's see what a starting Harry Kane for the very first time can achieve on his last year at Shrewsbury. And Harry Kane has his first good season, 23 goals and 2 assists, getting his first assist. Not only that, but he has gone up a plus 7 to a 73. And somehow Shrewsbury finished at 19th. Harry Kane is a one-man team in this club. But Harry Kane does not care as he's back at Tottenham Hotspur. But still taking a look at this striker position. It seems like he's not going to get any game time. So I think we need to send him out on loan again. However, what is interesting is that Harry Kane has a two-year contract left. Maybe when he comes back on loan, will he be given a new contract or will he be given away for free? But let's not worry about that right now. Let's worry about who's going to come in for Harry Kane, maybe a bigger side. And the first offer that comes in is interesting. It's from Blackburn Rovers for a two year loan deal. But if I'm honest, I think this is the perfect offer. Once again, as Harry Kane is a 73 overall, perfect enough for a championship team, but not good enough for a top five league team. I think there's only one thing left to do and that is to accept the offer for Harry Kane. But it's left to be seen is once he comes back, a better player, hopefully he'll get a new contract. I think I would give him a contract. And here we go. Harry Kane has officially joined Blackburn Rovers for the next two years. But the likes of Alan Shearer has won the Premier League and scored plenty of goals. Can Harry Kane go ahead and achieve something similar? And this team is definitely better than the Shrewsbury team he played for. And it looks like he's going to be the starting striker. Now with Harry Kane at 73 rated, I have a feeling he's going to have a big season. To make sure he has the amazing season, I'm giving him complete forward because everything but shooting it's relatively ass for this guy i don't know what it is about this season but i have high hopes for harry kane i'm hoping he can win his first golden boot here today and maybe his first trophy this season but let's see how the new harry kane does this season and no harry kane did not have a great season only eight goals in 40 appearances and only going up to 76 overall 
Maybe Blackburn Rovers is not the move. With Blackburn only finishing in 12th place, maybe Harry Kane won't get a new contract back at Tottenham. And kicking off the new season, in the 2026 World Cup year, Harry Kane was not chosen. I'm wondering if he would have had a great season, maybe he would have gone as a bench player. But regardless of 76 rated Harry Kane, this is the most important season of his career as if he has another bad season, he probably won't get re-signed at Tottenham Hotspur. And we're going for complete forward in his last season at Blackburn Rovers. This is do or die for Harry Kane. But let's see if a 19 year old Harry Kane can earn a new contract. And yes, Harry Kane has had a brilliant, his best season yet with 30 goals and four assists. He also went up a plus three to a 79 overall. But he's also won his first golden boot by one goal with 26 in 35 in the championship. Blackburn finished in fourth place, meaning he was in the playoffs. They go ahead and win his first ever trophy. And yes, he's done it. Harry Kane wins his first trophy, completing the first tick in the tic-tac-toe. And now with Harry Kane completing his first thing on the board, a 99 overall and three golden boots would be the easiest for him to complete a tic-tac-toe, but he still has many challenges left and Harry Kane has arrived back at Tottenham with some good news with a brand new four-year contract but it still seems like Harry Kane has lots and I mean lots of competition and I don't think it's best for him to stay here so I think one and I mean one more loan move will be perfect for Harry Kane to come back if he wants to start at Tottenham Hotspur. But let's see what offers come in. I'm hoping it's a Premier League club. And one of the first offers that do come in is whole city for two years. But no, that is not good enough for Harry Kane. And once again, another championship offer in Swansea City has come in for Harry Kane. And I think Harry Kane needs to be playing first division football. And the best offer Harry Kane has ever received is from Arsenal. As much as it would be hilarious to send him to the actual good side of London, I don't think he'll get any game time just yet. So I think it's going to be rejected as well. Who is going to take Harry Kane out on loan? And this is very, very interesting. The Blackburn Rovers have come in with a one-year deal, the deal that we were looking for. But Harry Kane has already played for Blackburn, but they're now in the Premier League. But I think after this year, he will never have to go on loan ever again. He's either going to start for Tottenham or be sold by the club. So let's go ahead and accept this offer. And there we have it, Harry Kane is on his way back to Blackburn Rovers. I'm curious to see how well he does in his first ever Premier League season and how far he can keep Blackburn Rovers in the Premier League. Now with Harry Kane back at Blackburn, it seems like he is the highest rated, the best outfit player at the club. We're gonna go ahead and give him advance forward this time around to upgrade his pace. Let's hope Harry Kane can get plenty of goals. But let's see how a mature Harry Kane does in his first ever season in the Premier League. And it's an incredible debut season for Harry Kane. 29 goals and 2 assists in his first ever Premier League campaign. 83 overall as well. But he also wins back to back Premier League Golden Boots. 24 goals, 1 ahead of Mr. Limper Bukayo Saka. And oh my days, no way Blackburn got second place. A couple, a lot of points behind Man City, but how have they done it? Harry Kane has finished in second place with a team that was in the championship last year. As Harry Kane has returned to Tottenham, he was selected for the English team for the European Championships. Let's see how he did. Harry Kane made four appearances, meaning they did not win the European Championship and only got one goal. It was not the best of campaigns as they got knocked out to Germany in the quarterfinals. And it seems like Harry Kane will be in the starting 11 or at least competing with Santiago Jimenez. Can Harry Kane go ahead and do a good job with his first season at Tottenham? However, it seems an offer from Crystal Palace was rejected for around 100 million. So Spurs are really backing Harry Kane to do well. But if the team does not do well, he can easily transfer to another Premier League club. And with Harry Kane only having a total of 8 career assists, we're going to go ahead and give him deep line forward. So hopefully with his shooting all the way already up, he can go ahead and get some assists as well. But let's see how Harry Kane does on his first ever season, finally starting for Tottenham Hotspur. And Harry Kane's first season at Spurs is a success. 38 goals in only 32 appearances is insane. Going up to an 87 overall as well. And he is now getting closer to Ballon d'Or range as he is now at an 87 at just 22 years old. But he just misses out on the golden boot by three goals. He could have won three in a row. And how unlucky can you be? A second place finish 
only by goal difference to Man City. He could have won Tottenham their first ever trophy. But he has done it. He has won a trophy regardless this season. The Community Shield against the eventual Premier League winners. Kane has finally won a trophy with Tottenham Hotspur. And with Harry Kane slowly becoming one of the world's best, he's going to probably stay here at Tottenham Hotspur for multiple more seasons if they can win trophies. But if he is lacking on winning trophies just like the UCL because he needs six, maybe he will move away from the London club. And with all his starts growing relatively well, I'm gonna go ahead and go for complete forward once again to get everything overall back up. Now, can one of the world's best Hurricanes start to win more trophies and maybe even a Ballon d'Or? And Hurricane does it once again. 45 goals and two assists now reaching a 90 overall. Surely he's winning the Ballon d'Or very, very soon. But a fourth place finish is not a Premier League trophy. But Harry Kane wins his second trophy at Tottenham and FA Cup. But not only that, Harry Kane has reached his first ever UCL final. It's Bottle Job versus Bottle Job Spurs versus Juventus. Who is going to win? Is Harry Kane going to win his first UCL in his career? And it's going to be a 3 2 loss. Harry Kane scores oh, two goals in the final but is denied his first UCL trophy. Maybe he can win it next year. And Harry Kane has been selected for his first ever World Cup with England. Let's see how he did. And so far, Harry Kane has one goal in this World Cup, sadly. And I say one goal so far because he is in the World Cup final up against Italy. Harry Kane has a chance to put something else in his tic-tac-toe board. But the question is, can they go ahead and beat the Italians a repeat of the Euro? 2020 final can Harry Kane go ahead and win his first ever World Cup and no another final bottle from England another bottle final from Harry Kane a 2-1 loss in the final two finals and two chokes from Harry Kane but now at a 91 overall in the brand new season number eight I think he's gonna stay here another season if he can't win a UCL or a Premier League however I think it is time that he moves on to another club with every other style looking absolutely incredible we have to go back to his passing as he only has 10 assists and needs 40 for the 50 so we go ahead and give him deep line forward and the question is is it time for harry kane to move on to another club or will he go ahead and win the premier league or ucl with Tottenham hotspur this season was not the best but it's still a great season 23 goals and one assist now out of 92 overall but the question is did he win any trophies and harry kane has done it he's won the Premier League for Tottenham Hotspur, his first Premier League to date. And he wins the Community Shield as well, his second ever. Can he go ahead and win his first treble by winning the UCL or maybe a domestic treble? And the domestic treble is completed. Harry Kane gets a third trophy in English football. But the question is, did he go ahead and win the UEFA Champions League? And no, he does not. Getting knocked out in the quarterfinals. And he once again as well misses out on another golden boot, only missing one more. And with Harry Kane only completing one thing on the tic-tac-toe so far and having 200 goals, I think even though he won a domestic treble, it's time for him to move on from Tottenham Hotspur. And that season number nine kicks off. Harry Kane is now transfer listed. I wonder what club will come in for possibly the best striker in the world. An interesting offer from Brighton has come in, but I don't think that's the club Harry Kane needs. And another offer for Harry Kane comes in is Aston Villa, but once again, that isn't the club. He needs a club bigger than Tottenham Hotspur, but if nobody comes in, he's going to have to stay here for another season. And a good offer finally comes in, and that is Chelsea, another London side. Tottenham may have won the Premier League, but Chelsea do have more funds and they have more pulling power. I think this is the transfer that I'm gonna go ahead and accept for Harry Kane. And there we have it, Harry Kane is joining Chelsea Football Club, achieving playing for three Premier League Cups. That's another tick in the tic-tac-toe. But the question is, can he go ahead and, and win UCLs and Ballon d'Ors at Chelsea? And Harry Kane is the clear top striker of this, I'm not gonna lie, relatively amazing side. And now the question is, was this the right move for Harry Kane as he wears the number nine? And there is only one way to find out. I'm gonna go ahead and give him advance forward to try to maximize his pace as his shooting is basically, his finishing is maxed out. And Harry Kane has a brilliant debut day season. 46 goals, two assists in 44 appearances. Now, out of 95, I swear, if he does not win the Ballon d'Or next season, this game is rigged. And he wins his third and final golden boot needed as he checks another check in the tic-tac-toe with 36 goals. If he can get 99 overall, 
this video is a success. His career is a success. And he wins the Premier League as well. Back-to-back -back Premier Leagues with two different teams. He's winning the Ballon d'Or. And he also wins the Europa League. It's not the European trophy he wants and needs, which is the UCL. But he wins the Europa League. Surely, this is going to set him up to win plenty UCLs. And as Harry Kane reaches the 10th season of his career, it is now impossible for him to win 6 UCLs. But he has been selected for the Euros once again. Let's see how he did this time around. With 5 appearances and 1 goal so far, Harry Kane is not doing too well internationally. Despite only scoring 1 goal, he is in the Euros final. Can he finally win his first international competition with England? And as Harry Kane captains the side, can he go ahead? This may not be the World Cup, but it is a trophy that England could never win. And it's a 2-1 win. Harry Kane scores the winner. He actually scores the winner and he wins the Euros with England. This trophy doesn't matter too much to his tic-tac-toe board, but he still wins the Euros regardless. Is he going to win the Ballon d'Or? And yes, Harry Kane has finally done it. He wins his first ever Ballon d'Or. That's one added to his list he could surely win another two to beat kevin keegan and harry kane has done his best season ever 53 goals six assists no chelsea player could ever put up those numbers and now at a 98 overall one overall to reach 99 and harry kane wins the domestic quadruple premier league community shield carabao and fa cup he's won it all in england he also adds the uefa super cup to his locker moving to chelsea was the greatest decision he's ever made but he was once again in a ucl final the only trophy he has yet to win in club football can he go ahead and win his first ever ucl trophy and Yes, he does on penalties. He almost misses out as he scores his penalty and does and scores the first goal for Chelsea. He finally wins his first UCL. And as season 11 is about to kick off, here's an update of his challenges. He has completed winning a trophy, winning three golden boots, playing for three Premier League clubs so far. He currently has 300 goals, one Ballon d'Or, 98 overall has yet to win a World Cup and currently has one UCL and 20 assists. It seems like these next couple seasons, his last four seasons, he may be complete the entire board. If you guys think Harry Kane's gonna become an incredible player, the greatest English player of all time, subscribe. Right now, we're trying to get to 500K subscribers. And yes, Harry Kane wins his second Ballon d'Or. Not even Neymar could win one. Harry Kane is surely gonna win that third one. This is getting ridiculous. 72 goals, 28 assists. That leaves him two more assists off the 50 assist mark. This has got to be the greatest season that has ever been produced by a single player. Harry Kane wins it all. Six trophies to his name. All of them but the UEFA Super Cup where he lost to Newcastle in the final. What a brilliant season for Harry Kane. And as Harry Kane is attending his last World Cup, he has reached 99 overall, completing a section of the tic-tac-toe. But we still have three seasons left to see if he can finish the entire board minus the UCL. And Harry Kane so far has three goals in the World Cup. I think that's his most ever in the World Cup. But for the last time, he is in the World Cup final against france can harry kane win the world cup on his last opportunity of doing so 99 overall the captain has an amazing team around them is he going to win this world cup can he beat france and win his first world cup and it's a 3-1 win he does it he wins the world cup and with the world cup checking another check in his tic-tac-toe surely he's about to win his third Ballon d'Or. And yes, he does. The third Ballon d'Or is his. And now he is only missing a couple more goals to hit 500 and only two more assists to get the assist. And of course, he can no longer complete the UCL. And in season 12, Harry Kane does not stop even though he got an injury. 47 goals now taking him to 423. Only 80 more goals, but he only has three more seasons to do it while he gets 20 assists smashing the 50 assist checklist and harry kane's wins five more trophies i think it's time that he left chelsea and tried to score 80 goals somewhere else it was only going to be one team that comes in for harry kane and that team is real madrid almost 500 million he's gonna go ahead and accept this go to the best team in the world for the last three seasons of his career and maybe just maybe will he score 
that 500 goal. And for his last three seasons of his career, Harry Kane scores 40 plus goals in every single season, completing the 500 goal mark. If you guys enjoyed this video, then you guys would definitely enjoy this video right here.